We all learned there were nine planets, then suddenly there were eight. What happened? What actually makes a planet a planet? Here are five facts about the controversial official definition. To start, let's talk about the 2006 IAU definition. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union, IAU, established the three official criteria for a celestial body to be considered a planet in our solar system. The first criterion is that it must orbit the Sun. This rule is straightforward. A planet must orbit our Sun. This excludes moons, which orbit planets, and exoplanets, which orbit other stars. The second criterion, it must be nearly round. A planet must have sufficient mass for its own gravity to pull it into a nearly round shape. This shape is called hydrostatic equilibrium. This separates planets from smaller potato-shaped asteroids. The third criterion is that it must clear its neighborhood. This is the controversial rule that demoted Pluto. It means a planet must be the gravitationally dominant object in its orbital path, having swept up or flung away most other debris. And this brings us to Pluto's failure. Pluto meets the first two criteria. It orbits the Sun and is round. However, its orbit is full of other icy objects in the Kuiper Belt, so it has not cleared its neighborhood. This led to its reclassification as a dwarf planet. Ready to be the judge? Let's see if you know the rules. Which organization defines what a planet is? A. NASA B. The International Astronomical Union IAU C. The United Nations What does it mean for a planet to be in hydrostatic equilibrium? A. It has cleared its orbit B. It has a stable temperature C. It is massive enough to be nearly round Which of the three criteria did Pluto fail to meet? A. It does not orbit the Sun B. It is not round C. It has not cleared its neighborhood So, what do you think? Is the definition fair? Should Pluto be a planet? Let the debate begin in the comments. If you enjoyed this cosmic controversy, please give us a like and subscribe.